More Seeds of Hope, Stories for Lent. Today's story seed is The Miracle. In the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verses 37 and 38. If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Listen to today's story seed. Today is the feast of St. Julie Billiard, the foundress of the Sisters of Notre Dame de Namur. She experienced a profound miracle in her life. She was born in 1751 and died 64 years later. She was joyful, prayerful, and full of wisdom, even though her legs were paralyzed for much of her life. As a very young woman, Julie learned to love God and showed that love through her devotion to the Lord. By 16 years old, she was helping her family by working as a teacher. She was described as a woman overflowing with energy, and she worked to fulfill her spiritual calling. One day at her home, while speaking with her father, a large rock was thrown through the window and a gunshot fired. Although neither she nor her father were physically wounded, the event was such a shock to Julie's overworked system, she was confined to her bed and became seriously ill. The treatment for this at the time was bloodletting through the feet. This process was performed so many times, Julie's legs became paralyzed. In her pain, she grew stronger in her love for God. One day, she had a vision and saw Jesus crucified with a large group of women surrounding him. They were wearing a habit that she did not recognize. An inner voice told her that these were to be the women of the congregation she would start. It would be dedicated to serving the needs and the Christian instruction of poor girls. While her legs were still paralyzed, she started her congregation and retook her vows along with two others. Her legs had been paralyzed for decades when a priest friend secretly began a novena to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, praying for the recovery of her ability to walk. On the fifth day of the prayer, the priest, Father Enfantine, visited Julie. While they were together, the congregational records described what he said to her. If you have faith, Mother, take a step in honor of the heart of Jesus. Julie rose and took a step. Something she had not done in 22 years. Take another. And she did. And another. And she did. That will be enough for now, Mother. Please return to your seat. Julie took her seat, though she assured Father that she was able to walk even further. 
Can you imagine that moment? Her ability to walk returned for the remainder of her life, 12 years. Mother Julie was on the move, doing the work of organizing and inspiring her congregation. Today, the Sisters of Notre Dame de Namur are in five continents and 20 countries. Sister Julie's story is an example of what Jesus is talking about in our scripture for today. The Jews Jesus is addressing don't believe him. Jesus says, okay, don't believe me, but believe in the works that the Father is doing through me. Can you at least believe in that? Come on, the blind see, the lame walk. What more do you want? But they won't have it. They focus on him claiming to be the Son of God. They want to kill him right then and there. Sister Julie lost the ability to walk, and she loved God even more. How about you? Is your heart touched by Jesus? If not, will any amount of miracles sway you? Holy Week will soon start. This is a time to draw closer to Jesus. Like St. Julie, you'll never be too old to learn to walk again with the Lord. Now, let's take 30 seconds to water the seed. What hardship draws you closer to God? <laughs>